Okay, so this episode is titled The Bloody Night. Are things gonna get even messier this time? Are we finally getting a confrontation between Shinpei and Hirokusama? Let's find out here on my Summertime Render episode 12. Watch along and reaction. Let's go. Oh, starting off with the creepy BGM. Yes, finally. Yes. Final confrontation with the boss. I just realized Hirokusama is a lolly. Oh, it belongs to the. Fr oh, so that. Who's Haini is. Hiroko no Mikoto. The enemy is a lolly. Is she regenerating? Oh, she needs a replacement. Damn. I guess she really likes lolly bodies. <laughs> oh, so that shadow that they fought is actually Hiro Kusama? Yeah, all this time. All this time. Yeah, the whole damn time. Whoa. This is pretty badass. With this fucking babies. <laughs> he just got the boss pissed off. <laughs> What's that? Is it the signal to feed? Haine? Alright, so this is where Sos gonna find the truth. I mean, yeah. She already knew it from Tokiko, but... Yeah, this is... Right, I knew it. So this is the, the, the whole revelation about their family tradition look at her getting excited <laughs> no i i'm a bit <laughs> liking this because <laughs> they don't call me onichao for nothing <laughs> Yo, Tokiko is really getting dark here. I have a feeling that she doesn't want all of this. She's just being forced because of family tradition. Yeah, this is the police guy. No, is that... I think that's... The one that they had a conversation before when they went to Shiori's house. Or is it... No, okay. So that's the policeman. Oh... It's Ushio's body. No fucking way. Please do something. Yeah, is it a double? I know it. They can do anything. They can cover things like that and, and get the corpse that they need no oh, she didn't even know it oh okay I wonder if that if that's what she really thinks. Oh, 
Damn it. There's something that she's carrying off all this time. It's like she has no choice. She had no choice but to follow. Yeah. Mom? Is there mom? The one in the wheelchair? Okay. That turned out to be right. <laughs> Just getting a bit heavy since family is getting involved. No, I don't want to see Ushio's real body to, to be like that. <laughs> no. Is this... She just gotta find that opening. Finally getting some action! Ooh. Yeah, she can regenerate now because we have the original body. I know this voice! <laughs> What's her name again? That's the, the VA for Frederica and... Hawk and, and Klee. <laughs> I forgot her name. I just. That one lolly say you. She's gonna grow her arm now because she can copy the original body now, right? Misaki Kuno, yeah, Misaki Kuno. Her words really went through Tohiko. Yeah, after you after you've come this far. Motherfucker just went and become a titan. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Ooh. It's really getting exciting. That. Oh fuck, his hand! Oh shit! Fuck! Ah! Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's Misaki Kuno, definitely. I didn't even recognize her until she. Turned into her lolly mood. <laughs> and they got Mio again this time. Oh no. Oh shit. 
No, is Tokiko gonna sacrifice herself to save Mio? Oh, this is really escalating real quick. No, I, I, I bet Tokiko would allow that, yeah. So that was the final meal to eat the whole island. No, it's obvious that they're just getting used. Yeah, yeah see? Where are getting mono? Wow really didn't sound well. Oh so, so they're also being used by their father. No. Is everyone gonna die on this episode? Oh there you go. Nagumo. Do something please. Don't tell me this policeman guy is gonna be the MVP in this episode. No, not yet. Time to switch. <laughs> H. Nice description. And you let that monster took her? Oh fuck, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Just when I thought that you're gonna be the hero in this episode, you already messed up big time. <laughs> I guess you can say that because if he didn't run, he won't be able to meet Yunosuke. No, we're gonna go on the boss. Yeah, we're gonna go to the boss. I guess that's why this episode is called Bloody Night. Everyone's dying left and right. Didn't know Misaki Kuno can be this scary. Eat me. Oh. They're taking his eye? Oh, shit, man. Becoming a paradox. Oh, it looks the flow of time from a higher dimension. It's the multiverse of madness. <laughs>
Oh, so that's... It's now all making sense. He can't control it unless he die. That's the one weakness. Unless he can overcome that condition. Oof. This is torture. Oh, shit. Think, Shinpei, think. So that's what they meant by observing the the universe that he wants. <laughs> there you go. Just the right diversion that we need. the night <laughs> shot right through the eyes but I guess she gave Shimpei another time he's killing himself yeah how was he able to store that bottle inside his mouth. Yeah, I think it's the medicine they got from the... Yeah. From the doctor's office. I bet that would still matter after <laughs> losing his fingers and his eye. This is the really option. Go, fuck. That's what I gonna call you also this this time. Fuck face. <laughs> the suffering. It's your last. It's your last. Yo! She is really sh showing some promise in this episode. Look at... Look at that! The egg! No. Just gonna get... She's... Gen well, she's gonna jump back with Shimpei. That's how they were doing it all this time. Yes! So this scene where they are holding hands is now finally making sense. Hmm. 
How many lives is that gonna cost, Jinpei? There you go. So, is that why he's crying? No. It's a different look. Yo! That was an intense episode. I think this episode is by far one of my favorites on the season. I mean on this show. A lot really happened and indeed it was a bloody night. People are dying left and right. It's really interesting to see how it is all now making sense. That thing with Shinfei's eye, we finally know that it is the actual rendering that he's doing whenever he loops back in time. So as that fuckface said, he is actually rendering this full summertime. So that's the title itself. <laughs> Big brain. <laughs> whenever we are seeing a different perspective from him, whenever his other self is being shown like an observer. So that is the actual and real Shimpei, and his eye is letting him observe the world or the parallel universe that he wants to dive into hence making that time loop or that jump so that's a, a big brain um, concept so that's what rendering I thought rendering was all about how the, the shadows are rendering the data to, to make a copy but I guess that also goes for the same way so yeah that's really interesting concept i mean really interesting way to to name the whole show i was also surprised to know that that hiroko samoa is being voiced by misaki you know you know if I, you probably heard her from from the other roles usually she voices those lolly characters i didn't really recognize her voice until the time that she turns into a lolly mood her scary voice is something new to me She's really talented and one of my favorite seiyus out there. I really love all her characters. And I guess I've taken a liking to Hiroka Sama as well. They don't call me Onicha for nothing. Looks like the next loop will be more interesting because Shinpei and Ushio, they're kind of sort of awakened. Their, their powers or their full potential. We also now know that Ushio is no longer a defective shadow she's not a defective shadow she's as as Heine said she's not inferior she's a superior shadow she was able to reverse Heine's grasp from her so I think Ushio is still evolving a and, and now Ushio and Shimpei brought a lot of information from their last dives from, from their last loop so yeah I think this next loop the sixth loop is gonna be fantastic I feel it's gonna be a more intense ride than this previous loop, than the fifth loop. I'm also wondering if they would be able to convince Tokiko to join their side, to betray their father, and then they can like join hands together to to beat Heine. That's an also interesting development. And I really thought the police guy is gonna shine on this episode. I guess he did. He did some. He bought some time. For them I think being a scaredy cat that's really an accomplishment for him but yeah what are your thoughts when you're watching this episode I really can't contain my my hype <laughs> watching this if, if it's not only 5 a.m. in the morning here I would really want to do to scream and shout <laughs> but people are still sleeping here so <laughs> I gotta tone it down and, and yeah, I guess that's it for this week. See you again on the next rendering. Uh, I really wanted to insert that word. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And this has been your Onichao. 
Adik, thanks so much. Ciao.